The Panther KF-51 is an upcoming German main battle tank MBT currently in development by Rheinmetall Land System, a division of Rheinmetall's vehicle systems. It made its public debut at the Eurocitry Defence Exhibition on June 13, 2022. The KF in its name stands for Kettenfahrersg, which translates to tracked vehicle in German. The KF-51 is based on the Leopard 2 of 4 hull, but it features a new turret. The tank is equipped with an autoloaded 130mm main gun. Rheinmetall has stated that their primary target audience for the KF-51 includes existing operators of the Leopard 2 tank. The Panther KF-51 has a weight of approximately 59 tonnes, and its dimensions are similar to those of the Leopard 2 of 4 tank. The crew consists of three to four members, including the commander and gunner situated in the turret, the driver in the hull, and an additional crew member in the hull. Each workstation is designed to be versatile, allowing for the seamless transfer of tasks and roles among the crew without any reduction in functionality. This flexibility enables efficient collaboration and adaptability within the tank's crew. The Panther KF-51, based on the Leopard 2 hull, follows a conventional layout for a main battle tank. The driver occupies the front right of the hull, with a single piece hatch above their position on the roof of the glacis plate. A separate crew station can be included in the left front of the hull for either a dedicated systems operator or a unit commander. The driver benefits from colour cameras located in the centre of the front and rear of the hull. If the KF-51 enters production, Rheinmetall plans to design a new hull for it. The distinguishing feature of the 51 is its new two-person turret, equipped with an autoloaded 130mm main gun. The rear of the turret accommodates magazines for the automatic loader of the main gun and pods for optional loitering munitions. Camera housings are positioned on all four corners and in the middle of each side of the turret. The power pack, tracks, and most of the running gear are derived from the Leopard 2 of 4. The power pack consists of an MTU-MB873 KF501 water-cooled V12 diesel engine, generating 1,479 horsepower at 2,600 rounds per minute, coupled with a Renk HSWL 4-speed automatic transmission. The maximum speed of the Panther KF51 has not been disclosed, but it boasts a maximum range of 500 kilometers. With a power-to-weight ratio of 25 horsepower per ton, the vehicle utilizes a torsion bar suspension system and has a fuel capacity of 1100 litres. The KF-51 Panther incorporates a comprehensive three-layered protection system. The innermost layer consists of all welded steel armour covered by passive armour modules, providing a baseline level of protection. The second layer consists of sensor-based reactive armour which can detect and respond to incoming threats. The third layer comprises Rinmetal's Active Defence System Active Protection System, which is capable of countering kinetic energy projectiles and anti-tank guided missiles. The Active Protection System can be mounted on both the hull and the turret, offering a high degree of protection. To enhance defensive capabilities, the Panther is equipped with Rheinmetall Rapid Obscuring System ROSY Smoke Grenade Launchers. These launchers, positioned in staggered rows behind the central camera housing on each side of the turret, provide a means to create a smokescreen for obscuring the vehicle's position. The Panther can also integrate sensors capable of detecting the launch signatures of anti-tank guided missiles and unguided anti-tank rockets. These sensors enable the crew to respond promptly to threats by either engaging the enemy or deploying appropriate countermeasures. For additional protection against top attack threats and loitering munitions, the Panther can be equipped with Rheinmetall's top attack protection system, which combines a hard kill element, which extends the coverage of the active defence system to the roof of the vehicle, and a soft kill element that aims to counter threats such as loitering munitions. This multi-layered approach to protection ensures that the Panther KF-51 is well defended against a range of modern battlefield threats. The KF-51 Panther is armed with a powerful Rheinmetall RH-130L-51 130mm smoothbore gun as its primary armament. This gun is stabilised and can be elevated from minus 9 degrees to plus 20 degrees. 
Rheinmetall claims that the RH-130 delivers 18 to 20 megajoules of energy onto its targets, which is approximately 50% more than their 120mm tank guns. It has an extended effective range and can fire various types of ammunition, including armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot, programmable air burst, high explosive, and practice projectiles. The gun is fed by an autoloader system with two revolving drum magazines, each capable of holding 10 rounds. During a test firing, the RH-130 demonstrated a firing rate of 3 rounds in 16 seconds, including safety checks. The autoloader's magazines can be replenished through hatches on the turret sides within 5 minutes. Additionally, there is an option to carry an additional 10 rounds outside the hull and turret. The KF-51 is equipped with a coaxially mounted 12.7mm machine gun as its secondary armament. For close in defence and counter unmanned aircraft system capabilities, a remote operated weapon station can be mounted on the rear of the turret roof. One option for the RWS is the Rheinmetall Natter, which features a 7.62mm gun with a wide elevation range. When armed with the Natter, the KF-51 can carry 2,500 ready rounds. Furthermore, the KF-51 can be equipped with the Hero 120 loitering munition system, enhancing its combat versatility. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.